There was a time when the deep forests of the American South echoed with the rhythmic drumming of a bird unlike any other. A bird so striking, so elusive, and so legendary that even today, its name carries an air of mystery. The ivory-billed woodpecker. Often called the Lord God Bird due to the astonishment it inspired in those lucky enough to see it, this magnificent creature boasted a wingspan of nearly 30 inches, jet black feathers, and striking white markings. Its most defining feature, a gleaming ivory-colored bill, strong enough to chisel through bark in search of grubs and beetles. But for nearly a century, the ivory-billed woodpecker has existed in a strange limbo, either extinct or surviving as a ghost in the swamps of the Deep South, forever evading human detection. But what happened to this majestic bird, and how did it go from thriving in the ancient forests of the United States to becoming one of the most infamous vanishing acts in ornithological history? Well, let's get right into it. To understand why the ivory-billed woodpecker disappeared, we first need to appreciate the world it once called home. These birds were once found throughout the southeastern United States, from the bottomlands of Florida to the dense cypress forests of Louisiana and Texas. Unlike smaller woodpeckers which tapped lightly on trees, this bird was a demolition expert, using its powerful beak to strip away bark in search of beetle larvae hiding underneath. It thrived in old-growth forests filled with towering trees, places teeming with life. The massive decaying trunks provided a perfect habitat for the insects it fed on. But these forests weren't just home for the ivory-billed woodpecker. They were part of an ancient ecosystem that existed for thousands of years, hosting creatures like black bears, panthers, and alligators. For centuries, the ivory-billed woodpecker remained a rare but respected resident of the swamps, eluding all but the keenest observers. Native American cultures recognized the bird's unique presence, and its striking feathers were sometimes used in ceremonial headdresses. To truly understand the mystery of the ivory-billed woodpecker, we first need to take a closer look at what made this bird so unique. Unlike its more common relative, the pileated woodpecker, the ivory-billed woodpecker was an absolute giant, one of the largest woodpeckers in the world. Growing up to be 20 inches long with a 30-inch wingspan, it was a striking sight. Its glossy black feathers contrasted sharply with the bright white patches on its wings and its distinctive ivory-colored bill, for which it was named, gleam like polished bone. Males had a vibrant red crest, while females had a more subdued black one, adding to their dramatic appearance. But this bird wasn't just beautiful, it was a specialist in the ecosystem. Unlike other woodpeckers that primarily pecked at tree bark to find insects, the ivory-billed woodpecker had a unique feeding strategy. Instead of chiseling small holes, it would strip away entire layers of bark from recently dead or dying trees, exposing the juicy beetle larvae underneath. This meant that the ivory-billed woodpecker wasn't just a scavenger, it played a crucial role in maintaining forest health. By feeding on the insects that thrived on decaying wood, it helped prevent outbreaks of tree-killing pests, ensuring the balance of the ecosystem. But its habitat needs were incredibly specific. Unlike smaller woodpecker species that could adapt to fragmented forests and suburban areas, the ivory-billed woodpecker needed a vast, untouched wilderness, swampy forests filled with towering trees, fallen logs, and a steady supply of fresh decay to sustain its feeding habits. And this is exactly why it was so vulnerable. The bird had once ranged across nine U.S. states and parts of Cuba, but its dependence on pristine wilderness would eventually lead to its downfall. But before we explore its disappearance, we need to understand the relationship it shared with humans. For centuries, and I mentioned this earlier, indigenous people recognized the ivory-billed woodpecker as a creature of significance. Some tribes believed that its feathers carried spiritual power, and its distinctive call was set to echo through the forests like a ghostly voice. Later, as European settlers expanded across North America, the bird's striking appearance made it a prized target. Collectors, ornithologists, and even fashion industries sought its feathers, and its demand for natural specimens grew in the 19th century, and so did the hunting of these already rare birds. By the early 1900s, the ivory-billed woodpecker was no longer just a bird. It had become a legend, a creature that seemed to exist at the fringes of reality, seen only in fleeting glimpses. But in the 19th and early 20th centuries, something changed, a force more destructive than hurricanes, wildfires, or predators. This was human expansion. By the late 1800s, America was expanding at an exponential rate. Railroads carved through wilderness, cities grew, and the demand for timber skyrocketed. The towering old-growth forests of the southeast became prime targets. Loggers moved in with axes, saws, and industrial machinery, stripping millions of acres of pristine woodland. Entire ecosystems collapsed as ancient trees were felled, and with them, the homes of countless species, including the ivory-billed woodpecker, of course. Adding to its troubles, the ivory-billed woodpecker became a prized target for collectors. In the early 20th century, museums and private collectors paid handsomely for preserved specimens, further depleting an already struggling population. And speaking of the early 20th century, the ivory-billed woodpecker was even more on the brink. 
With its habitat rapidly disappearing under the relentless march of the logging industry, the bird's numbers plummeted. Scientists and conservationists began to realize that they were watching a species vanish in real time. But just as all hope seemed lost, a handful of forests remained. Tiny, isolated pockets of wilderness that had, by sheer of luck or inaccessibility, escaped destruction. Among these was a the Singer Tract in Louisiana, a vast stretch of untouched swamp forest that would become the setting for one of the last efforts to document and save the ivory-billed woodpecker. Enter James Tanner, an ornithologist and doctoral student at the Cornell University. In the late 1930s, Tanner was sent on a mission to find and study the last remaining ivory-billed woodpeckers. For three years, he lived in the swamps, tracking the birds, observing their habitats, and recording their calls. He identified at least 20 individuals, all concentrated in the Singer Tract. But Tanner wasn't just there to study the bird, he wanted to save it. Tanner fought desperately to protect the Singer Tract from logging. He wrote letters to government officials, conservation groups, and a lumber company that owned the land. He warned that cutting down these trees would doom the species forever. But in the 1940s, the demand for timber overruled conservation efforts. Despite Tanner's warnings, the Singer Tract was logged, its towering trees were destroyed, its swamp drained, and its ancient ecosystem reduced to barren fields. After that, the ivory-billed woodpecker all but vanished. For years, scientists searched their last remaining wildernesses, hoping to find a surviving population. But as the years passed, hope dwindled. Some believed that the bird was already extinct. Others thought that a few individuals might be hiding in the deepest, most remote swamps. And then the reports started to come in. Sightings, sounds, and stories that suggested the ivory-billed woodpecker might not be gone after all. Despite the dire predictions, reports of ivory-billed woodpeckers didn't completely vanish. Scattered sightings continued to trickle in from the deep south. Hunters, fishermen, and bird watchers occasionally reported seeing a large, black-and-white woodpecker deep in the remote areas. Some even claimed to hear its distinctive kent call, or the rapid drumming of its beak against the trees. Then, in 2004, a dramatic revelation shook the birding world. A team of researchers in Arkansas announced that they had spotted an ivory-billed woodpecker in the Cache River National Wildlife Refuge. A blurry video surfaced, showing that appeared to be a large woodpecker in flight. The news made headlines worldwide. Was it true? Had the ivory-billed woodpecker survived against all odds? The 2004 sighting sparked an avalanche of debate. Some experts were convinced that the bird in the video was indeed an ivory-billed woodpecker, while skeptics argued that it was merely a misidentified pileated woodpecker, a species that looked similar. The U.S. government even launched an extensive search, pouring millions of dollars into efforts to locate the bird. Researchers deployed remote cameras, audio recorders, and teams to scour the swamps. But after years of searching, no definitive proof emerged, no clear photographs, and no fresh feathers or nests. The question was simple. If the ivory-billed woodpecker still existed, why haven't we had concrete proof? Some pointed to the bird's elusive nature. Even in its heyday, the woodpecker was still notoriously difficult to observe. It moved swiftly through dense forests, rarely returning to the same perch, and often avoided humans. Its loud cant calls and double knock drumming echoed randomly, making it challenging to pinpoint its exact location. Others believe that if the bird survived, it existed in such tiny numbers that even dedicated searches might fail to locate it. With a population potentially in the single digits, the species could be functionally alive, but unable to sustain itself. For some, the real answer was even more unsettling. Maybe the bird was already gone, and we just didn't want to admit it. The excitement of a possible rediscovery had ignited hope, but as the years passed with no new concrete sightings, skepticism grew. Some experts dismissed the Arkansas footage entirely, claiming it showed a misidentified pileated woodpecker. Others pointed to the lack of physical evidence, no feathers, no fresh nests, and no photographs as proof that the search was futile. From the swamps of Louisiana and Florida to the remote forests of Mississippi and South Carolina, birders claim to have spotted large black and white woodpeckers with striking wing patterns and loud double knock drumming. Some even captured audio recordings eerily similar to the sounds described in historical accounts. But without clear photographic or video evidence, each sighting fell into a frustrating limbo. Believers embraced them, skeptics dismissed them, and the scientific community remained divided. By 2021, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service took a controversial step. It officially proposed declaring the ivory-billed woodpecker to be extinct. For many, this felt like closing the book on an unsolved mystery. There are still vast, unexplored forests and swamps where the bird could be hiding. Modern technology, including high-resolution cameras and AI-assisted audio analysis, may one day uncover the truth. Until then, the ivory-billed woodpecker remains in a strange limbo, caught between existence and extinction. Even if the ivory-billed woodpecker is gone, its habitat, the deep, untamed swamps and forests, remains. Efforts to restore and expand these environments don't just benefit one species. 
What do you think? Is this woodpecker truly gone or is it still out there waiting to be rediscovered? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, thank you so much for watching.